Let's find the value of x squared plus y squared if x plus y squared equals 25 and x minus y squared is equals 45. Pero bago ang lahat, special mention muna kay TJ Moriarty, Ostia Jeff Alvin Saison at kay Kain Nap, Kain Napod. FB name niya. Ibig sabihin yan, kain ulit. Thank you sa inyong tatlo na nag-share ng pinakadetalyeng solusyon para sa ibang members. Now, let's proceed. Let's solve this in two ways. First solution, ibibigay muna natin yung pinakamadali. X plus Y squared is equals to 25. If X Minus y squared is equals to 45. Yan yung given. Ang tanong kung ilan kung x squared, wait, x squared plus y squared. Isolve muna natin itong si x plus y squared. So this is x plus y times x plus y. Let's solve this using FOIL method. So we have x squared plus xy plus xy plus y squared. Next, ipagsama yung mga like terms, xy plus xy, that is 2xy plus y squared. By the way, ilalagay ko na rin sa description ng video ito kung paano magmultiply ng mga binomials. Foil method, yung box method, vertical method, yung mga ganyan. Next, dito tayo sa x minus y squared. That means x minus y times x minus y. At i-multiply natin yan using foil method. Ang first ay x times x equals x squared. Tapos, outside, that is negative xy tapos isa pang negative xy negative y times negative y that is positive y squared ipagsama ang mga like terms negative xy plus negative xy that is negative 2xy plus y squared ngayon this is equals to 25 ito yun siya so, that is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals 25. And this one, this is equals to 45. Nasa given yan siya. x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equals 45. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin ay i-combine yung dalawa. I-add natin yan. x squared plus x squared equals 2x squared. Addition ang gagawin natin para makancel lang ito. Next, y squared plus y squared is equals 2 plus 2y squared. 25 plus 45 and that is 70. Ngayon, ang tanong kung ilan ang x squared plus y squared. So, since itong 2x squared plus 2y squared is equals to 70, ang gagawin natin ay i-divide ang buong equation ng 2. At bakit 2? Kasi 2x squared divided by 2 and that is x squared na lang ang natira. 2y squared divided by 2, and that is y squared na lang ang natira. So, 70 divided by 2, and that is equals to 35. So, therefore, x squared plus y squared is equals to 35. Yan na yung tamang sagot. Another way of solving this. Pahirapan natin ang sarili natin. Ito yung given, x plus y squared is equals to 25. Next, 
yung isang given ay x minus y squared is equals to 45. Ang unang gawin natin ay i-square root natin yung buong equation. So, makancel out na yan si square natin kasi in-square root man natin siya. So, ang matitira na lang ay x plus y equals square root of 25, that is 5. In other words, pariho lang yan sila. Next, kung anong ginawa natin dyan, ganun din ang gagawin natin dito. So, makancel out na yan, ang matitira na lang ay si x minus y equals, ito namang si 45, i-factor out natin yan in such a way na kahanap tayo ng perfect square kung meron man. Ang factors ni 45 na meron tayong ma-perfect na square root ay yung 9. So, 9 times 5. Square root of 9 is 3. So, that is 3 square root of 5. Therefore, x minus y is equals to 3 square root of 5. Next, i-combine natin yung dalawang equation na yan. x plus y equals 5. I-combine natin sa x minus y equals 3 square root of 5. Mag-eliminate tayo. Una natin eliminate si y. So, i-add natin yan siya. So, this is 2x, eliminate na natin yan, equals 5 plus 3 square root of 5. Now, x is equals to, kasi yung 2 pang multiply sa x, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 5 plus 3 square root of 5 divided by 2. Yan yung value ni x. Next, Mag-combine pa rin tayo sa x plus y equals 5, x minus y equals 3 square root of 5. Ang gagawin natin ay mag-minus tayo para ito naman ang i-cancel out natin. So, mag-minus tayo, negative yan siya, again, change ang sign. So, this is 2y equals 5 minus 3 square root of 5. Again, i-isolate natin si y dito since si 2 pang multiply sa y, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 5 minus 3 square root of 5 divided by 2. Ngayon, ito yung value ni x. Ito naman ang value ni y. Ang tanong, x squared plus y squared kung Ano ang sagot dito? Now, x natin ay 5 plus 3 square root of 5 over 2. Squared yan siya. Plus, yung y natin ay 5 minus 3 square root of 5 over 2 at i square natin yan at yan na yung sagot. Isolve muna natin itong 5 plus 3 square root of 5. Squared man yan siya, so ganun din ang isusulat natin kasi mag-vertical method tayo pag multiply nito. 3 times 3 equals 9 square root of 5 squared yan siya. So i-cancel out muna yan. So, magiging 5 na lang at i-multiply mo siya sa 9. Next, 5 times 3 equals 15 square root of 5. Next, 5 times 3 square root of 5, that is 15 square root of 5. 5 times 5 is equals to 25. 9 times 5, that is 45 plus 15 plus 15 square root of 5 is equals to 30 square root of 5. And this is 25. So therefore, this is 25 plus 30 square root of 5 plus 45 over 4. Kasi square root of 2 is equals to 4. 
Wait, itong 25 at 45, pwede na natin ipagsama yan kasi mga like terms naman yan. So, 25 plus 45 and that is equals to 70. So, 70. Now, i-add natin siya sa 5 minus 3 square root of 5 over 2 tapos squared. So, ganun din. Ito ay lagyan lang natin ng negative. Negative times negative, that is positive. Kaso lang itong si 5 times negative 3, that is negative. So, this is negative 15. So, ang sagot dito ay negative 30. Again, pwede na itong i-add natin siya. That is 70 minus 30 square root of 5 over 4. Now, pwede na natin siyang i-add. Kopyahin natin si 4 na ginawa natin denominator dito. Ito namang si 30 square root of 5. Tapos itong isa pang square root of 5, 30 square root of 5. Plus at minus yan siya. So, cancel na natin yan. Ang natitira na lang ay si 70 plus 70 and that is 140. Now, 140 divided by 4 and that is 35. Kaya ang sagot sa x squared plus y squared is equals to 35. Now, kung gusto niyong masundan yung mga future videos natin, pwede kayong mag-subscribe at mas magandang i-click nyo yung bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga upload natin. Thank you.